Well, we've, we're definitely a different team. Um, you know, we graduated a lot of kids that played meaningful minutes for us for the last three years. And what's been fun to watch for us has been our senior class developing. A uh, guy like Nico Pontrello, a guy like, uh, you know, certainly Pat Frazier uh, for us defensively and David Manning. Uh, really kind of taking control of this team where everybody knew the, you know, Justin Wards of the world and the, and the Runkles for the last few years. Um, these guys are learning that, and now they're leading. And, uh, and so it's just been a lot of fun to be a part of a, a fresh group, you know, with, with, you know, new voices in the huddles. And, um, and I think they're doing a terrific job. Well, I think you hit the nail right on the head. A new offensive coordinator, um, you know, Nico's worked under three offensive coordinators. And so he's, he's learned an awful lot, you know, in his four years. And uh, so he's been able to kind of draw on some of those things. Uh, and certainly going into his senior year, I'm watching him not only try to lead, but also um, learning to kind of work within the framework of a new offense. And I think that he's really excited about it. But watching him lead Zach Sirico for us has been a lot of fun. And certainly Zach Haywire's coming back into the mix. Um, you know, we feel like, you know, he, he's going he's gonna to really put some punch into that left side again. So um, Nico definitely will be our Justin Ward. He'll be our spokesman. Um, he'll be our leader. He'll get guys to the right spots. He's certainly done that through the fall. And, uh, and so it's just, like I said, it's been a lot of fun to watch that whole uh, side of our game develop. Well, certainly uh, Brian Sherlock, you know, is, uh, has been a constant for us with Ramar Dennis and, and Tyler Albrecht. So having those three guys, you know, the, the, the continuity of that group has really helped us through the fall. Um, Jeff Chase has been injured. He's going to be back in the mix in the, in the spring. Um, so those, those guys are probably the ones that we're really pointing a finger at to lead in the mid, middle of the field. Uh, so it's, it's, like I said, it's been, it's been nice because we've got some familiar faces there. I think it's what, what losing Joe Fletcher has created a sense of urgency uh, on the defensive end. And similar to watching Nico develop, I'm now watching Pat Frazier develop uh, you know, for us down low. And, and obviously we're in the midst of a, a little bit of a battle for the goalie position. So, um, you know, I, I, it's been a lot of fun, again, um, to watch these guys grow and watch David Manning learn to lead as well. Um, Jason Crane, we've moved from long pole down low. Jack Kerrigan is in the mix for competition. And I would say that we, if had, we had to play tomorrow, I, I don't know that we would actually be very comfortable right now with the definitive three. That's a, there's certainly competition. Um, so uh, that competition has made practice a lot of fun. You know, again, losing Joe Fletcher, um, it's also been interesting as a coach's staff. You have to coach everything again. You know, we have to coach how to play picks. We have to coach, you know, do we want to change a little bit of our defensive philosophy because he was such a good cover guy. Maybe we're a slide a little bit more of a, you know, type team this year. Maybe we're a little more zone. Um, we've watched practice and how things have developed and we're really trying to play to the strengths of our own, our own players.